All right, hey guys, remember CCG back to the video. Unchained just got new support in Master Duel. And this with this video, I'm just going to be going over some new combos that you do really need to know for this deck and for the new support. But we're going to get started here with a one card combo using Tour Guide from the Underworld. So we're going to normal summon out Tour Guide of the Underworld and special summon out Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Then we can link away here into the Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. Activate Yama's effect and the Fiendish Rhino. With the Fiendish Rhino, we're going to be able to pitch a Fiend monster from the deck to the grave. In this instance, we're going to be sending Sharvara. Then we're going to be using Yama's effect here in order to add ourselves the Aruha. Then we can, because Sharvara was sent to the grave, we can actually use the effect here in order to set the escape of the Unchained. Then we can use Aruha's effect in order to pop a card on the field to get it out. Use the Trap's effect here to special summon out an Unchained monster from the deck. So in this instance, it's going to be Shyama. Link away into our Unchained Soul of Rage. Then use Shama's effect here in order to bring it back by popping a monster. Then we can activate Aruha's effect and Yama's effect in order to bring out both the Sharvara and the Sarama. And now we can exceed into the DDD Wave King High Caesar. Activate the effect of Sarama here by popping itself in order to get the escape of the Unchained. And with here, we're going to be able to get the Unchained of Soul of Rage. And during your opponent's main phase, you're going to be able to link using your opponent's monster. So that's great because you can use this to go into a possible Link 3. Like, for instance, you could go into Nightmare Unicorn. And then from there, set, shuffle in another card from your opponent's uh, field back into their deck. Or you can go into an Unchained monster and then use the Escape of the Unchained by targeting an Unchained monster you control and one card in the field, destroying both. And the nice thing about that is that not only are you going to be able to, to destroy a card on your opponent's side of the field, but you can actually proc the effect of the Unchained Soul monster that is going to be the Link monster is going to be summoned using this Link 2. And of course, we have DDD Wet Wave Hiking Caesar here. That is a spell trap monster effect negate, as long as it's a special summon through its effect. But otherwise, it's a pretty simple one card combo, and we're going to go to the next one. Alright, guys, so the next combo that I have for you is a two card combo using Sharvara and any of the Unchained Traps. So here we're going to act we're going to set the trap in order to pop it. We're going to be using Shavara's effect. And Shavara's effect will let it special summon itself out and because the trap was popped it'll actually be able to get out the Shama. Then we can link away into the Yama and activate the Shavara's effect in order to get the other unchained trap. So that's what I kind of meant where it doesn't really matter which one you have as you're able to just get the other one. Then we can use Yama's effect here. Use Aruha's effect in order to pop that trap. Activate the trap in order to get ourselves the Sarama. Activate Sarama's effect in order to get the trap that's in the grave. So you can choose whichever one you want to get here. Then we can pop the Aruha using the second half of, the, of Sarama's effect. And get ourselves the Rekia. Link away into the Unchained Soul of Rage. Pop the sh uh, Shama here. And then of course we're going to be able to bring out Sharvar like we did with the previous combo. And get ourselves the Rekea. Then we can exceed into the DDD Wave Hiking Caesar. So now this looks like a very similar board to what it, we did get with the last one, which is true. But with this instance, we actually do have the Unchained Twins Rekea here. So we can pop it using Escape of the Unchained. So we have the same interaction as we did before. But now we don't have to worry about uh, not maximizing on the value. And we can actually go into something like the Nightmare Unicorn if we want to. Just to send a, our, one of our opponent's cards back into the deck. And that'll give us one extra interaction. While also uh, having another card here that we can proc its effect with. While having another Unchained card that we can proc its effect once it's destroyed. So it just gives you a bit of uh, a couple more interactions just by having an extra monster. But let's go to the next combo. Alright guys, so the next combo that I have for you is using an Unchained Trap and Aruha. So we're going to set our Unchained Trap, pop it, pop it here by using Aruha's effect. Then we can use the Trap's effect in order to get ourselves the Sarama. Activate Sarama's effect, bring out the Trap, and pop the Aruha. Then we can activate Aruha's effect in order to get Rakea. Activate Rakea's effect will actually give us the ability to pop a card on the field. And with that, we're going to be able to pop the Sarama. Get ourselves a Sharvara. Link way into the Yama. And of course, we can use Sharvara's effect as well as the Yama's effect in order to search a card. And now we can use our Sharvara's effect here in order to pop a card to get it out. Activate the Trap's effect in order to get Shyama. Go into our Link to Unchained Soul of Rage. Use Shyama's effect here. Pop it. Use Soul of Rage. 
And we can also use the Yamas effect here. We can get this card back out, and we end ourselves here with the DDD Wave High King Caesar. And so here we end off with the Unchained Soul of Rage, which of course is able to take one of our opponent's special summon monsters. And then we have DDD Divisor King Deus Machin X, that is able to take one of our opponent's monster cards if they try to activate their effects and attach it to itself. And then from there, we can actually get an extra monster take because it is once per chain instead of once per turn. So that's two ways of taking your opponent's cards. And then we have, of course, the Escape of the Unchained, in case you go into the Link 3 Unchained. And we also have Unchained Twins Sarama, just a bonus card for the next turn. All right, but let's go to the final combo that I have for you guys. All right, guys, so the final combo that I have for you is using Rekea and Aruha. So we're gonna normal summon out the Rekea, then we're gonna pop it by using Aruha's, Aruha's effect. We're gonna be able to use activate uh, Rekea's effect here in order to get Sharvara. Then go into the Link 2 Yama, Sharvara's effect of course procs as well. Get ourselves the Unchained Trap. Then we can activate the other Sharvara's effect in order to pop it, get it out. Get ourselves a Sarama. Activate Sarama's effect, get ourselves one card from the grave, pop it back once again. Then we can use Shama's effect. Then we can get Shama out and then Link away. Now we can use Shama's effect to get it back out. Activate the effect of Sarama. Get it out. Now we can go into ourselves into the DDD Wave Hiking Caesar. Then go into the DDD Stone King Darius. And then go into the DDD Divisor King Deus Machin X. So from here you can see that we have a good amount of interactions just by building up what we what I showed you guys with the previous combos. So we have Unchained Soul of Rage, of course, another way of just taking our opponent's cards. Then we have DDD Wave High King Caesar, and it's as is able to negate a spell trap or monster effect that includes an effect to special summon up card. So easy way to just negate something. And then we have DDD Divisor King Deus Machin X that is essentially able to take one of your opponent's cards once per chain. And because you're going to be taking that card and putting it in as material, you can do it once again. So you can take two of your opponent's cards. So with this, you're going to be able to have four interactions in total. And it's going to be pretty disruptive for your opponent to deal with and just very uh, annoying to work around. If you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that. And even consider joining the channel membership. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.